Hi guys, this is Julia. And this is Alex. And we're going to discuss some differences between American and British accents based on some really common words that you guys use on a daily basis. And the first phrase is thank you. Okay, so we say it with a little bit of a diphthong there. So there's not a single vowel, ah, but we add a little e afterwards, which in turn makes the first sound less open. So it sounds like thank you. Thank you. Yeah, kind of thank very close to day, a diphthong that you day, have day. Day, day, thank day, you. Thank you. Thank you. More open. Thank yeah. you. And in British English, this sound is just a single vowel and the one that we have in cat. So it means that you have to uh, spread your lips, like smile a little and then drop the jaw. And the tongue is not going to get curved up, not like thang, but thank, thank. Mm -hmm. That's going to be hard. Thank. Yeah. Thank. Yeah, that's quite good. You can do it. Well done. So thank you. And thank you. Right. The next word is really small, but tricky. And that's sure. Especially in British. Right? Yeah. How would you say? Well, I used to be taught something like shua. Oh yeah, it used to be like that. Um, but it doesn't sound these very days, modern. exactly. Right? This diphthong ua is like dying out, especially in those short words like shore. So it sounds exactly like a seashore, and in words like poor, pure, cure, things like that. So it's basically the same or long or sound as you can find in other words like war. Okay, let me try. Sure. Yeah, that's quite good. So the tongue is really low and pulled back and the lips are rounded. Sure. It tends to be quite quick though. Sure. 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 Right. Okay. So what about American? Well, we have a trick here because it's an R colored vowel. Uh, it's technically a short U sound, after which there is an ER sound. However, when they are placed together, they might remind you of an ER as in girl. So yes, you say UR, but technically it sounds like sure, 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 sure. So the er is pronounced so quickly that it's technically just sh and er. Sure, 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 sure. Awesome. Sure. Sure. So the next one is a whole sentence. Can I get a coffee? Well, first of all, I need to mention the infamous flat T here between get and a. So get a, get a, get a, get a. Get a. Get a. I'm pretty sure that, um, pretty sure that uh, there's going to be a huge difference in the word coffee. All right. Yeah. So first of all, what you need to know about an American accent is that there is no O sound there. So you don't need to round your lips for this sound. But you also don't have to think about the Russian A sound. So it's not coffee and it's not coffee. It's coffee. So you oh. drop your jaw from a completely neutral position. You don't have to forcefully do anything for that. Coffee. 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 And don't hold it for too long because it's a short sound. Coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Can I get a coffee? Yeah. The British English, you can also use the flat T, but the vowel in coffee is going to be very different. I'm terrified of this one. <laughs> so it's a short O oh sound, and that means that your tongue is really low and back, and you have to drop the jaw in that position. So it's going to be coffee. Coffee. Um, the lips, they're not very active. You don't have to round them very much, like coffee. Okay, thank they're God. Just, yeah, they, they're pretty neutral. They're slightly rounded. So give it a go. Coffee. Coffee. Well done. Good. Great. And um, the whole thing. Can I get a coffee? Can I get a coffee? Yeah. The next one is really weird in British English. And it will go, I saw it on YouTube. Why is it weird? Because the word saw doesn't have a r sound. And oh, ni right. neither does it. But it's an intrusive r that makes its way between saw and it. So it just appears out of thin Saw it. Yeah. And then another thing that's worth noting here is the way we say YouTube in British English is with a ch sound. Just like you would say in the word choose. Can you try it? So there's no y, right? Yeah, you're right. Like originally there was a t and a y, like tube, but that got blended and what we got is ch but no y sound just like you say chew and choose okay so youtube ch -ch -ch. youtube yeah right i saw it on youtube perfect okay how would you say it so we would definitely not use that intrusive r you were talking about we would just say i saw it i saw it i saw it 
Yeah, and YouTube, um, I guess it's easier to pronounce it because there's nothing like two blending sounds, but you don't pronounce a y sound there. So it doesn't sound like to you, it sounds like two. Two. Basically like number two. We also have words like Tuesday or Tuesday. stupid, student, stupid. and so on. So you don't pronounce a y sound there, just t and u. Two. YouTube. Two. YouTube. Awesome. I saw it on YouTube. This is getting hard. I saw it on YouTube. I saw it on YouTube. The next phrase was chosen by us because of two words, post and internet. So the phrase is posted on the internet. And it's something that people commonly do these days as well. That is true. So first, let's take a look at the word post and the diphthong inside it. Because some people pronounce it with a single vowel and they say post or post. Don't do that, it's post. And the American version of this diphthong starts with a rounded O oh sound. Oh. So don't say post or something like that, but post, 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 oh, post. post. And don't round your lips too much for the O sound. Yeah, you just bring them together to a neutral position. O, oh. post. Mm -hmm. So how do you pronounce post in British accent? Yeah, so what you don't want to do is you don't want to round your lips or pull your tongue back or down, so you don't want the O oh sound, because the first sound is uh, like as if you're about to say person, but then you change your mind and you quickly go and, and round your lips for the U uh sound. Post, person, post. Person, post. Brilliant, yeah, so the tongue doesn't have to sink and it stays central, that's the key to that diphthong. So now on to the second word, which is internet. It has no T's whatsoever. What happens to them? The first T is completely dropped. The second one is help T, which means that you do bring the tip of your tongue onto the alveolar ridge, but you don't release it. You keep it there. So it sounds like internet. Internet. A bit more er. Internet. Internet. Perfect. In British English, the word internet is going to have the first T. Oh. Uh, it's going to go internet, internet. And there's no R in the middle, just a schwa. And at the end, the last T can probably be anything, just like you. So the last T could be a true T, like internet. It could be a glottal T, like internet. And it could be a held T as well, I guess. Can you say it with a true T? Internet. Internet. And with a glottal T, internet. Internet. Perfect, well done. Well done, really good. Yeah. Anyway, so it sounds as posted on the internet or posted on the internet. And the last phrase for today is, I don't care. How would you say it in American accent? I don't care. So what happens there? So I'll probably focus first of all on the flap D in don't because it's in between two vowels. Oh, so, so it's not just flap T, it's also flap D. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we wouldn't say I don't. Yeah, we would say I don't. I don't. I don't. Yeah, and then care has just a short E sound, the same one as you have an egg. But it's egg. R colored, so you're gonna say ear. Ear. Yeah. Air. Some people tend to uh, make it too long or they add a schwa sound. Yeah, or something. I would definitely do that. Care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's actually really short and you just say care. 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 I don't care. That's really hard for me because normally I would say care. So this diphthong, what well, used to be a diphthong, air. It's not anymore. It's it's basically like a single air sound, but very quite long. Care, care. You just hold it, can you try it? Do I have to open my mouth? Yeah, you drop the jaw and the tongue is quite relaxed. Care. Care. Yeah, I don't care. I am, um, there is a true D there. Don't, don't. yeah, right. And the thong just like in post. I, I don't care. Excellent. That's about it. We hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, if there are any words or phrases that you want us to break down in stories in both accents, let us know down below in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye! Julia, the country of these. No and this is Alex. We're here to talk about some words that you guys use every single day. I think it's really good to say hi to Subscribe! Hi, this is Julia. You didn't get that. Why don't you get it?
Was nam nisem zdjela? No, this is not what I wanted to say. Hi, this is Julia. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> we say... We say, I don't like that, but anyway, we're gonna cut it out. <laughs> I was just like... <laughs> wow, that's interesting. <laughs> everybody knows that in American English, we actually... Everybody knows. <laughs> are colored. So, it's a... British accent. British, right, right. Based on some... Wow, that's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> like the epitome of sincerity. All right, so the next one is a whole sentence. Oh, sorry, I was fixing myself. Go ahead. <laughs> so what's the next one? <laughs> Don't trust. Don't trust her. Do you watch YouTube? <sighs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> never mind then. <laughs> I saw it on YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> I saw it on YouTube. <laughs> that was retarded. Sweaty palms. Get ready. Jesus, pinky swear. No teas. This is the no <laughs> teas. Where did they go? British humor. <laughs> what happened to the teas? <laughs> Two teas. <laughs> Я скажу, and then look uh, maybe down a bit and then go back <laughs> tease whatsoever there <laughs> the mind's clear we'll get through this at the end the last T can probably be anything just like you <laughs> on the internet <laughs> There's a tea. So in Ameri in American, in American, am I teaching American now? I can't say this anymore. Uh, done. Whew. <laughs> Actually, <I'm> done. <laughs> Let's think of that. They have to let us know something. Some of your favorite Alex's jokes. It's not bringing the negativity here. We had a blast. You sure did. <laughs> Better not to move. So that's about it, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> then we say bye. <laughs> Let's spend another hour recording that. See you next time. Bye! Bye. <laughs>